what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to be talking about jonathan break and the high probability of him not being in jeepers creepers 4 so i was going to talk about what you see on your screen here first to begin with this is from an assistant to uh jonathan breck's uh cast management company or cast manager that he has or movie manager casting manager that jonathan brick works with the assistant to that person i just simply asked them hi is jonathan brick going to be in jeepers creepers 4 aka jeepers creepers reborn they replied no he wasn't asked now that would line up to the last time this was brought up to us regarding the cast manager for jonathan brick last year saying they hadn't been contacted so i guess that was all the way through and through he was not contacted at all to be in this film if this is in fact true now this email here is actually from the cast manager himself chris rowe this is saying thank you for your kind email regarding jonathan unfortunately the rumors are true that a jeepers creepers 4 has been shot from what i can tell it was done very very low budget and under the radar jonathan was not a part of it as well as anyone from the previous incarnations it looks like it was made just to milk the franchise very unfortunate but true my guess would be that it's probably not very good it's unfortunate that jonathan will not be back as the creeper good luck and best wishes chris so already off the bat high probability not i'll not even say there's a high probability the, the way they are handling the marketing for this film i'm not even going to say that there's a high probability that this person is just lying to save the secret there is a chance that they're lying to save the secret but a high probability i doubt it i see no reason for the the cast management of this jonathan Breck individual who we know has been playing the creeper i see no reason for them to lie see no reason for them to lie not to withhold or not to not to disclose the information if they were in fact trying to keep that a secret why not just ignore the email and i do want to also disclose that timo himself apparently has seen this email and his response to it was something to the to the effect of that chris Rowe doesn't know because that's who chris is chris Rowe, the manager that handles jonathan breck i guess landing the roles that he gets that's the casting management that jonathan breck works with but timo has seen this message these emails and he stated uh to something to the effect of chris Rowe doesn't know what he's talking about uh he basically that's just it doesn't know what he's talking about now see here's here's my issue with that chris Rowe who works with jonathan breck manages what movies he would potentially land a role in doesn't know what he's talking about as far as jonathan breck not being in it not to say that that's what he's actually talking about because he said a lot of other things in that email that i got he talked about the fact that the film was made for a potential very low budget looks like it's being made to milk the franchise you know just going off on his own opinions on the matter since jonathan breck wasn't even asked to be in the film and you know just to talk about that really quick and I don't I don't want this to be about us being upset that Jonathan Breck isn't in it because again anyone can be put in this makeup and do a phenomenal job it's just I know there's a lot of trust in only Jonathan Breck doing that because that's the only person we've seen do this character so just going back to the fact that he apparently was not asked you know we've seen these two interviews Timo himself has made it clear that he seems to be a fan of these films and I'm not going to say he's not but you know to i just don't know to want to distance yourself so much from what victor has done why did that need to extend if breck isn't in the film why does this need to extend to jonathan breck not even being the creeper anymore why did it need to extend to that because this is saying that he wasn't even asked not even considered you you're pretty sure you're well aware of who brought this character to life in the other three films so what why was he not asked and it has nothing to do with breck apparently not wanting to do it because he was asked and i've been holding off he, he wasn't asked i meant to say i've been holding off on making a video like this for some time because i wanted them to announce the official cast and i was holding out hope that we would see jonathan breck in the in the actual lineup for the cast playing the creeper which that very may, very well may still occur and again this could be just lies to hide the secret that he's back but like i talked about it in another video he's going to be at texas frightmare later this year and his credits include jeepers creepers one through three they don't include jeepers creepers reborn but again why would they include jeepers creepers reborn if this was as part of an elaborate secret to hide his uh involvement in the project still Chris Rowe 
as his manager, the management that works with him, why not just ignore the email? I'm not the only person who's gotten a message like this either. Other people, I've seen you guys in the comment section. You guys, some of you guys who watch me, you've reached out to Chris Rowe. You have sent me messages of what you sent to Chris Rowe asking about Breck. It's the same answer to everyone. No, he's not in it. 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 At this point, if you're trying to keep things a secret, whether that be who's in it or who's not in it, why would the casting management be just letting stuff go like that? They would just ignore the email, I feel. I feel like they would just ignore the email. They have nothing to hide, nothing to lie about. I don't believe Jonathan Breck will be the creeper. Who is going to be the creeper? I don't know. I know I talked about Richard Brake. Blake apparently portraying the creepers, some rumors or speculation that he would be doing it because because the face prosthetics seeming to resemble him a bit. Uh, I don't think Richard Brake would do a terrible job. It's just like, you know, I, I, I said it before in a video I talked about that. I think he's too thin. And I thought I talked about multiple actors playing the creeper, whereas maybe a thin actor will play him as he's waking up. And then over the time, over the course of the film, as he's eating, he's building up his muscle mass and everything. And then a different person will be portraying his final form that we see in Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I don't think Jonathan Brex in this film. I don't see any reason for these emails to be filled with lies, not only to myself, but to many other people that have gotten similar emails that have reached out to Chris Rowe. Uh, it's just the same answer. Jonathan Brick's not in it. Jonathan Brick's not in it. Jonathan Brick's not in it. Why would you need to lie about that if you're trying to hide that a secret? You know, if you're trying to keep it a secret, you you guys tell me this. If you're trying to keep a secret about someone's participation in a film, would you rather a ignore the question being asked about said individual or would you flat out tell people no to misdirect them? I mean, honestly, the way the approach Timo's taking, he doesn't want to answer to confirm or deny anything. So why would anyone else do anything different that's involved with this project? Chris Rowe wasn't involved with this project because Jonathan Breck wasn't involved with this project. I believe that wholeheartedly. I'm not saying Jonathan Breck won't 100% be in the film. I just see no reason for this person to lie. See no reason at, at all whatsoever. And I, I still have no high hopes for this film. I just have expectation that it'll be decent but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to our post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there because there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video